number. I have a request for you in Leipzig, which you must grant. Tomorrow at exactly 11 o'clock, I'll play the adagio from the Chopin Variations, and we'll think exclusively of you. Now, the request is that you do the same, so that we can see each other and meet in spirit. Our doppelganger will probably meet above the small gate of the Thomas Kirche. With all my heart, Clara B. My very dear Clara, how could I suppress a smile when I read your letter yesterday? I often think of you not as a brother thinks of his sister, or as a boyfriend of his girlfriend, but rather as a pilgrim thinks of a distant shrine. <laughs> During your tour in Dresden, I visited Arabia so that I could tell lots of fairy tales that you might like on your return. Six new doppelganger stories, 101 charades, eight humorous riddles, and some wonderfully scary ghost stories. Oh, how I'm shaking with fright. My paper is coming to an end, like everything else, except the friendship, which makes me Miss Clara Wieck's most ardent admirer, Robert Schumann. Sitzt mich ein, wo kann ich besser sein? Meinen Feind bring ich allein. Niemand lässt mich rauben, ich hab so meine eigenen Gedanken. Sitzt mich ein, wo kann ich besser sein?
I can't say anything about your song. All I can do is sing it. How happy you make me. I thank you for it with a fervent kiss, my Robert. If you have sung the song, just lean on me and say to me, you're a good man. Then I'll be satisfied. Poems like this can make me cry. They are so very profound in their simplicity. Since yesterday morning, I have written about 27 pages of music, something new. And I can tell you nothing more about it, except that I laughed and cried over it with delight. Goodbye now, my girl. <coughs> Playing and making so much music nearly kills me. And I could simply expire in it. Ah, Clara, what bliss it is, writing for the voice. How wonderful it is that you're composing so diligently. But as for the songs, it has occurred to me. Is there perhaps some young nightingale in Leipzig who is inflaming you?
Auto. Are you still faithful and steadfast? Although my faith in you is unshakable, even the most courageous man will doubt himself if he hears nothing at all from the one who is the dearest to him in all the world. I have wept for joy to think that we are engaged, but often wonder if I deserve you. What would I not do for love of you, my Clara? The knights of old were better off. They could go through fire or slay dragons to win their ladies. But we of today have to content ourselves with more prosaic methods, such as smoking fewer cigars and the like. <laughs> there are terrible hours when your image forsakes me, when I wonder anxiously whether I have ordered my life as wisely as I might, whether I had any right to bind you to me, my angel, or can really make you as happy as I should wish. These doubts all arise, I am inclined to think, from your father's attitude towards me. He has spread malicious lies about me to all the newspapers of Europe. It is so easy to accept other people's estimate of oneself. Your father's behavior makes me ask myself if really I am so bad as to invite such treatment from anyone. I've thought it all over a thousand times, and everything tells us it has to work out if we want it to, and if we act. Just write me a simple yes, with all my heart, your Robert. My dearest Robert, a simple yes is all that you want? Such a little word, so important. Still. Shouldn't a heart so full of indescribable love like mine be able to say this little word with all my heart? I'll say it, and my soul will whisper it to you forever. Do you still doubt me? I'll forgive you, weak girl that I am. Could you ever waver in your love? If so, you would have broken a heart that loved only once. Your Clara. Oh, <laughs> 
Robert Schumann is completely unsuitable as a husband for my daughter, Clara, and I will never sanction their union. Schumann is an inept musician and composer, and equally inept as journalist and editor. He cannot help Clara with her career, since he is socially maladroit and cannot speak clearly or write legibly. <laughs> he crippled his finger through his own stupidity. He has lied repeatedly about his income. He has been badly brought up and displays an indescribable egotism and unlimited vanity. He drinks greatly to excess. He does not truly love my daughter. He wishes to use her for his own purposes and live off the money she earns as an artist. I urge the court to deny their petition to marry.
always will. 